Cassie, come right in. Thank you. Would you like to sit down? Thank you. So, how are you feeling? Better. Uh, Cassie, Charlie's been coming around to the rectory. He's very worried about you. And the children miss you terribly. I know. You're not going to have anything to do with that. Charlie's been to the rectory to talk. He tells me you've been depressed for several years. He noticed. Cassie, it's generally recognized that Catholic women who practice birth control against the teachings of the church are subject to chronic and debilitating depression. Father, I had no choice. My obstetrician said it would be dangerous if I got pregnant again. Oh, but you did have a choice. You could have used rhythm. I used rhythm the first four years we were married. I had three children. If that's God's will. And if in the course of bringing another soul into the world, you were to... I was to... Uh, that's not necessarily God's will for you. You understand. But if you used rhythm properly and you still became pregnant, there's only one alternative. What's that? You must abstain from marital relations until such time as your doctor feels that you're ready for another pregnancy. Did you tell Charlie that? Yes, and he said that while it would be a hardship, he would be willing to make the sacrifice if it resulted in your getting well. He's had problems with the birth control thing from the beginning. He's a very good man, Charlie. You bet. Everyone says so. So all you need to do is return home and take up your duties as a responsible Catholic wife and mother, and all your problems will fall away like... Cassie, should you be up there? When I was growing up, my mother always felt free to come into my room whenever she wanted. No knock, just bang. The door would open and she'd fly through like a police raid. And I got to thinking how nice it would be when I was grown up and free and the lady of the house. Most little girls dream about marriage and a home of their own. That's very natural. But you see, my idea was that I would finally have a place where I could masturbate in private without my mother bursting through the door. That is not natural. That is downright perverse. What's the matter with you? Maybe I'm crazy. No, you're not crazy. What you are is in danger of losing your immortal soul. And if you think God hasn't heard this conversation, Cassie, you're very wrong. Father Dunhill, do you remember a lady who called you in the middle of the night and said she was going to kill herself? You said pray and call back in the morning. You think she did it, Father? You think she killed herself? Maybe she took a birth control pill and washed it down with a quart of scotch and died of a broken commandment. What do you think, Father? You think she's dead? <laughs> 